Okay. Hey. Not a loser! The enemy 
is the Phoenix. I thought I was a goner. Really delicious. It works. I'm good. Shape.
You're here. Morning, ma'am. Hey, get up. We're closing for a few hours. Sleep a bit more, Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Too damn to even dust this thing. Hey, Jiban. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. 
Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. You want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. It's a non-profit group, what you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, bleaching the gray zones white. You know how some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Ryo Aoki. And that is? Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh, Comrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor, but they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant, but you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea, you pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is, a brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy! We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners! These women are just working hard at their jobs! So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them! What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No! It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors. You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother! I never minded it! Huh? <laughs> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is! Get ready to catch! Wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! Hmm. 
Not bad, Ichiban. <laughs> Sup? True. Oh yeah?
Goodbye. Oh. Hold on. Ah! Ah! 
an old guy be so strong uh, whatever I'll see you around grandpa you kids have a lot of spunk why don't you use it to help your parents for once I never thought bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing bunch of dreamers they really think they can bleach the gray zones come on <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose but all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bullying. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Hmm? You two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete self. If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple bums living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to bother. You got it. Thanks a lot. Yeah! 
Hell yeah! <laughs> <sighs> look, Ichiban. A roof. A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man. It's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls, <sighs> and a soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? Then again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license, if that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <sighs> Life is work. Hmm. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh... Oh... <laughs> you really want to know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. Oh, uh, well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. <laughs> it's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But... If the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? Leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home! Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow! Cheers!
Please! Let me go! I swear! I'll tear that fucking bar down! Look! I know I messed up! I, I don't even want the money anymore! J just give me another chance! How about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way! I already know how to do it! Oh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? Uh, wait! I didn't catch that! I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Chugara! <laughs> the night and make sure you stash some of that cash okay thank you okay. have a see you tonight, tonight. So, you actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I, uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Oh, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah, I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Oh, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. You get it? Uh... Kind of? <laughs> <laughs> you know... You never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, uh, assault, interference with a public servant. Guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant it all got dropped. Ah, uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. 
How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, being two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the Commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the Commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. But before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced by the chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. So what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kusumi was convicted sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the higher-ups. Rats, leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day, and next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Orinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa- Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. 
You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh shit, that's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save a yen. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. <laughs> they let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on, let's get over to Hello Work already.
of this shit. What's up? <laughs> Tunnel 
finishing off his throw. Not a loser! Whoa! What just happened? Did you see those guys freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Come back to Earth. Hmm. No one else sees this? Well, whatever. <laughs> At least it's more fun for me. Okay. Take the best shot. Watch this. You're in it Have now. Fun with this. Cool. You're weak. Don't get cocky. It's all right. Get serious. Come on now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, you're the best. Your best shot. Yeah. Check this out! Yeah. I got this. Don't get cocky. Watch this. Have fun with this. Come up! Huh? You're weak. Going in! Watch out for this! Oh, come on, come on. Get alive! Cool! You wanna fight? Oh, you're the one! Come on now! It's on. Okay. Good luck next time. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear, they freaking transformed! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. Yeah, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. It makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers. Our great journey has begun. Oh, sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, mm, medicinal herbs. Yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Say, suppose I should give you some sort of present. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. 
I'm sorry. I guess I made it sound like I was asking for one. Nonsense. You're only gonna turn this age once. Why not let me celebrate? But aren't you broke, mister? Uh. Well, you got me there. But still... Mm. Mister, isn't it hard enough just trying to survive out here? It's nice of you to think of me, though. Thanks. Sure. You're a good kid, Shotakun. Oh, I'm gonna be late for cram school. I gotta go. See you later, mister. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Might be hard to track him down. Probably better off handing it over to the old man. Yeah.
Hmm? 